Hi. Is Facebook a better dating app? Before I get to that, let me introduce myself. My name is Barry Selby. I am a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert. And I help strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine. And I do these talks every day called Messages from the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. And today's topic is going to be intriguing, shall we say, which is, is Facebook a better dating app? Oh, by the way, this is number 416 of my daily Facebook Lives. And if you're watching this live, this is on Facebook. Uh, if you're watching it in replay, it can be on Facebook. It can also be on my YouTube channel and also on my podcast. You can listen to the audio and I'll tell you about those at the end. So stay tuned. Um, Frankly, I didn't really have a clarity on the topic today. I'd had a wonderful day at our... Um... Hi, Tomasa. I was think that this is interesting because you've met a lot of guys on Facebook. Well, yes, I'm going to get to that. I'm getting to that. Actually, it was interesting because what, what actually inspired this was this morning, um, I was at Agape, my usual Sunday outing, and we're at a new venue, which is at least for the interim, at the Savant Theatre, or is it the same? I think it's Savant Theatre in Beverly Hills. And I saw a lot of friends there, as I usually see, and met some new people. And also, right towards the end of the second, the last service, these two women walk in, and she goes, I know you. And it turns out, um, it's my friend Janine, who I had never met in person, doesn't live in LA, but literally she and I have done, we've been on two summits together, and also she's interviewed me on her radio show. And we finally met in person. So that was very cool. But it got me thinking about, Facebook as a way to connect. As I've said before, that I love meeting people on Facebook that I meant then meet in person. And oftentimes it's for business connections or social alignment or expanding a friendship circle, those sort of things. But also, Facebook, I'm thinking quite honestly, is a really good place to date people. And I'd say this reason for, the, for these reasons. First of all, because Facebook is not a dating app, you tend to get to know by their profile who they really are. Well, <laughs> ideally who they really are, because frankly, for many people still, Facebook is a way to present their best presentation to the world, which could be not the full picture of who they are. But generally speaking, for most people on Facebook, they're being authentic as best they can. So versus Tinder or Match or Plenty of Fish or all these different apps, where people are putting up dating profiles, which may or may not be accurate to who they are, and again, these are all possibilities, Facebook generally is a bit more transparent. The second part, which is probably more important, is if you have know somebody because of common friends, you've got some um, resources to get to know the person. So if you are interested in that person, romantically speaking, you could talk to their friends about them. I'm not saying this is the must do, but you might have some people you're close to that are friends with them say, hey, just curious, what do you think of that person? And you get feedback. So in my mind, Facebook works out as a better place to meet somebody. Of course, it's free, which isn't a bad thing either. But also with Facebook, you tend to get to know more about the person you would on some um, dating apps. So what we're saying again to myself, sometimes Facebook is fake book. Yeah, but then, and you know when people are being authentic or not. Absolutely, and that's the thing. It's easier on Facebook, I believe, and I agree with you on this one, to see through the facade or see through the... Um, appearance somebody puts up on Facebook because it's too perfect. I personally think that, I mean, my Facebook profile, frankly, is peppered with dating relationship-centric stuff because it's my business. And I tend now to steer away from the political stuff because it creates too much, <laughs> it provokes too much argument. But largely speaking, what I put on Facebook is the truth for me. Although, to be honest, some of these recent posts I put up, people have been attacking me on and they were actually just jokes I found online. The modern day. If you see my if you've seen my modern dating memes I posted or modern dating quotes I posted, they are um, little research I was doing online and I started putting up because I thought they were funny. They're not my philosophy, just to be clear. Some of them aren't, most of them aren't, in fact. But they're entertaining. At least I think they are. And in case one case they didn't, they actually upset some people. Having said all that, my profile is pretty much me. Certainly my bio and everything else is accurate. You know, it's who I am. So, yes, there are people on Facebook who are playing as fake books. So, yes, you're right, Tomasa, that's very true. But at the same time, there is the opportunity to meet people. You get to meet their families. So, if someone's a parent, quite often they put pictures of their kids up on their profile. 
So they may not put that on their, they may not put that on their dating profile. So in a way, you get to know more about the person through Facebook than you would necessarily through a dating app. Now, I'm noticing, I'm trying to think, I've seen a couple of dating apps where they show in the app your mutual Facebook friends, which is a start. It is a bit interesting because you got someone's got to pay a premium to see who those friends are to then do your research. So if you know somebody on Facebook, why not get to know them that way because you already have connection to their friends because it shows their common friends most of the time. Also, if someone on Facebook is very private, not showing much on the Facebook, you might want to be cautious about getting to know them because you may not know how, how visible they are. By the way, I'm going to drop them big on the back end of this, so stay tuned on that. Because <laughs> it just hit me as late. I didn't mention the big piece, so I'll get to that. So Facebook as a um, method to meet people, I'll put it that way, it's one of the best tools out there. As I said, I mentioned I met this, this woman this morning who we've known each other for quite a while but never met in person because she wasn't in LA until today or this weekend. So it's really wonderful to meet in person because it's kind of like in real life, she's even better than she was on Facebook. In terms of, I mean, on Facebook I saw pictures of her but she has a very serious look because she's a very serious person in her business. But meeting her in person, I got to meet the likeness in her which I hadn't seen before. And it was really nice to meet this person and go, oh, you're cool. You know, and, and more than I'd already knew from when we'd done our talks together. So, for me, Facebook has a benefit, as I said, to meet people that you can then meet in real life. With a caveat. Because I know there's going to be this whole thing, the blowback on this about stalkers and people who are, um, what's the word I'm looking for? They have attachment issues. <laughs> I know some people on Facebook who I met in person, I'm going, I want to sort of like cut off complete communication with them because they're very, you know, got the hooks in, trying to get the hooks in. Uh, the life of being a celebrity, what can I say? I'm kidding, but you know, it's that sort of thing. So there is a definite um, counterpoint to this conversation. But I want to make sure you know, that I put out this thing about Facebook is a great place to play because before there were dating apps and before there were smartphones, like this device I'm shooting this video on, people met other people in social engagements through friends, blind dates, uh, parties, social gatherings, stuff like that. So in a way, what Facebook does is make an electronic version of the same thing. So it has that use, that benefit, that tool to provide you with ways of meeting people that you may not otherwise meet. And so that way, you can expand your dating pool. So in that way, Facebook is really cool. And yes, it can be a better dating app than the specifically designed apps that are designed for dating because they take the onus off. You know, the downside of that, of course, is that with the dating apps, you meet somebody who's focused on dating meet them on social media like like Facebook that may not be the case because the reality is that oftentimes you may not know this their relationship status it may not be public and so thinking that you meet someone on Facebook go oh, and pursue them because they're attractive that might not work for you so that's the downside of this but the main thing I like about Facebook especially if people do videos of themselves on Facebook you get to know more about who the person is because video is a much more telling platform than just still photographs. So most people who know me know I'm really who I am because 400 plus videos you've seen me talk on, you know who I am. So it's kind of that transparency. So it has that effect as well. Now one thing I want to drop in here, which is the big thing I mentioned earlier. And if you watch my broadcast before, you know about this. Facebook may well be a good dating app. Okay, thumbs up, good, that's good information. However, and a must um, apply rule that I say right now before you choose to use Facebook as your dating methodology same as any dating app or any dating application ladies especially this is for you independent of application independent of resource independent of dating arena you play in get really clear on what you want and it sounds so simple to say this but it's so much more than the words if you don't know what you want Facebook is like putting a ship at the ocean and then running the sails without a rudder, meaning that you put the sails up and you get blown by the wind wherever it goes and you don't know where you're going. There's a thing that has been said, um, it's a quote from way back and I remember who said it, is if you don't know where you're going, any port will do. So if you don't know what you really want, going on Facebook and meeting people of the opposite sex or people you prefer to be attracted to, you can be meeting all sorts of people and you don't know if it's what you really want. So it starts with clarity. It starts with self-investigation, saying, what do I really want? 
in partnership. It's true for men and women, by the way. But in terms of attraction, and I've talked about this before, this was on, this was last week sometime, we did talk on uh, the power of the feminines to attract. It's also the curse. I recommend watching that if you haven't seen it. I don't remember the number by the time. It's probably 406, 407, somewhere around there. So it's about, about eight, ten days ago, I think. I think. Anyway, in that I talked about how the power of the feminine is to attract. And if you don't know what you're looking for, it's still working. So if you don't have clarity about what you really want, your attraction's working on automatic pilot, which may not be doing what you want. So yes, Facebook's a great dating app, or Facebook can be a great dating app, let me clarify that. However, if you're not taking care of your internal vision and really getting clear about what you really want, what you may be presented with might not be working. So Facebook can work, same as any other dating app can work, but if you don't know what you really want, you could be getting in trouble. So my intention in saying this and my invitation, my recommendation is, is take some time before you use that app for that purpose to get clear about what you really want. So again, if you're single, particularly if you're a woman, your power of attraction is very strong. Well, actually, your power of attraction is really strong regardless if you're single or not. But if you're a woman who's looking for a relationship, Having clarity makes your choices easier when you know what you're really looking for. So get clear first. I mean, I little plug, by the way, my online program called Attract the Man You Want does what it says. So the key about it is it learns for you how to attract the man you want, not chase the man you want, not hunt the man you want, not randomly guessing the man you want. It's about attracting it. So getting clear is a priority. So that's the big piece I want to make sure you had. If you want to know more about that, reach out to me, send me a message, and I'll tell you more about that. Um, but I do frankly enjoy Facebook for its ability to get me, helping me get to know other people, but then I get to meet in person. So that's one of the things I love about Facebook, actually. You know, it's nice when you meet people in real life, then you can meet them on social media. It's like, that's okay. But the other way around is really cool. So in the dating arena, it can be amazing, and sometimes it can be not so amazing. So use it with caution and care, same as any dating app. And I've said this before that I'm not a big fan of dating apps per se because of the fact that they are a place you can go shopping without knowing what you're looking for. And so, you know, when you go into a store and you have a clearer thing, you don't have clarity what you want, and you walk out with 1,500 products in your cart, that's the problem with social media and dating apps. So getting clear of what you want before you go in makes it much easier to get out what you want. I think I believe that point enough. <laughs> so having said all that, I hope this has given you some insights some thoughts and some maybe some considerations about Facebook for use in the future. Um, and I think that's really it. It was kind of a Sunday broadcast. I, I just had a wonderful day at a cafe this morning and and got provoked, got um, what's the word, inspired by this topic, so I thought I'd share about it. So if you haven't seen my other broadcasts, I do this, do this every day. This is number 416, so there's 415 of these already out there. And if you, as I mentioned at the beginning, that I, these are Facebook Lives initially, so you can watch the replay on my Facebook page or on my business page, which is barryselby.author. You can also watch it on YouTube, where I put them up later on. So YouTube is... My, chat, my channel is Barry Selby and the playlist is Messages from the Masculine. And now if you want to listen to me when you're driving or other places where you can't watch a screen, you go to uh, iTunes and look for Messages from the Masculine you'll find my podcast there. And the podcast right now is just replays of my broadcast put into audio format so you can listen to them anytime you want. Also if you want to find, find uh, let me try that one again. If you want to find out more about my work, you go to my website which is barryselby.com and on the menu bar click on the left hand side where it says... Um, Let's chat, and we can chat. <laughs> Sign up there, get a, get a session booked with me, and we can talk. And with that, I thank you for watching. It's a Sunday night, so no homework. No, no homework. Um, and I'll be back in tomorrow with number 417. We'll see what that topic's going to be. Please take care of yourselves. If you're out, say, if you're out dating, if you're, out, if you're in a relationship, or if you're out just having fun, take care of yourself, because you deserve the best. And with that, I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.